Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay and this is Manifesting with Karmic Side Gal. If you are new here, welcome and thank you for joining me. Today I am going to be having a little smoke sesh and just talking with you guys about something that I'm currently going through and I feel like other people will be able to relate to at this moment. Um, first, I just want to start by saying, well, I have my grinder here which is just a little baby grinder, but it works perfectly. And honestly, I've had it for years. So now there's like an emotional attachment to it. Um, so I'm just going to pour me a bowl right now. Um, but, well, I guess I just want to first start the conversation centered around healing. Obviously, since I am going through Ascension, the only way to do it is to grow into it, which is to heal. There's no way you can ascend without healing past issues, even past life issues for real, that are still affecting you from lifetimes ago that you have to basically find out and realize like, oh, I have these problems. I seen this TikTok of this uh, Hispanic couple and they were like doing smoke tricks and now I keep trying to do this smoke trick and I don't know how to do it and honestly I just fucking keep burning my finger. But anyway, so to get started into the conversation. So in the space of ascension, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You have to be used to change and you have to allow change to flow easily through in and out of your life and that's something that i'm coming to terms with now and trying to just figure out myself learn myself grow myself heal myself so that i can get to the highest level which is my higher self and honestly i feel closer than ever before and i don't know if that means that i'm just farther away from my low vibrational self or actually close to to being ascended i don't know but either way today what i want to talk about is trusting your intuition and knowing the difference between your intuition and when you may actually be blocking your blessings so everyone has that voice in the back of their mind that kind of stops them. It's their fear voice, it's their lack voice. It's this voice that tells you not to follow your dreams, that you can't do it, that you won't be successful, that you don't deserve love. This is the voice that all of us have. And we constantly have to battle with that voice and standing up for what we believe and what we know we deserve and not allowing that voice to talk of uh, talk us out of our happiness. Um, some people who deal with this on a grander scale, it is called imposter syndrome. If you guys don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's basically um, a diagnosis of you having this disorder where... You just don't see yourself for the amazing person that you are. You can have all of these accomplishments and it won't still won't ever feel real. You won't ever feel good enough and you'll never feel like you are the person all of these people are saying all this praise and accolades to. Um, there's plenty of people like Maya Angelou, Albert Einstein, among many others who have this imposter syndrome who just kind of always felt like they weren't good enough or that w basically when is everybody going to figure out they're fucking fraud or fake because to them the knowledge that they had and that they were sharing that was like common knowledge for him them you know what i mean and sometimes when you've had a skill or been developing a skill for so long it, you don't feel good at it because there's you know there's so much still to learn in all of your years of learning and I kind of feel like I'm in that space right now and it's really hard to 
break away from um, be, being an imposter or in being myself. Like, I recently started, um, I guess, being friends with a bunch of people who are super cool and awesome and they feel the same way about me and i'm just like little old me like girl what like it's really hard for me to take a compliment honestly and there's just so much that i still want to do and achieve that nothing that i have done this far has felt like an achievement um so Basically, I just want to give you guys some ways to be able to understand are you blocking your blessing or are you really following your intuition? So, ooh, 555 right there. Um, so, your intuition is your third eye, your third eye chakra. It's your inner knowing it's that feeling in your stomach. It's that emotion that you get inside of you that you can't explain, but you just know that something is about to happen or something isn't right or that you just have a feeling about another person, whether it be good or bad or indifferent. Um, and it leads you and guides you. It's your... Third eye is your connection to God, is your connection to your higher self. It's what helps you to really have clarity and to see things for the way that they are, to really be connected to the 5D instead of the 3D. The 3D is just a material plane. Um, none of these things we can take with us. But the 5D, this is where your soul exists. This is where there's higher knowing and understanding and belief so none of this shit down here matters and for a lot of people we get consumed by the day-to-day -day things life and family and relationships and we kind of get sidetracked and we forget about what's really important which is like following our purpose in life so your intuition is always going to lead you into the direction of your higher self. It's not going to steer you wrong. It's not going to um, lead you somewhere that is going to guide you to be hurt or um, anything that's not to your highest calling. Although everything happens for a reason, good or bad, your intuition is just going to tell you the right decisions to make and who it is that you should and shouldn't trust and everyone has the intuition but some is just a lot louder than others because they allow their third eye to be so open that they can receive information like that so they don't they know how to trust themselves that's what it comes down to I feel like I'm rambling. If you could trust yourself or not, that's what it comes down to. And that is how you build up a strong intuition. Um, you know deep down in your heart when something is right or something is not right. And that is how you know that is your intuition. When it is something that is not based off of facts that is your inner shit talker that person that just makes you feel like you can't do what it is that you want to do or succeed or be happy or just don't deserve things we're going to call them the shit talker that is the shit talker okay the shit talker is going to make it so that you don't have happiness so that you see the bad side of everything the shit talker is basically that half the glass half empty that is the shit talker side of your personality but your intuition is always going to tell you the right thing and that's how you know you are making the right choices and that you're not just telling yourself something so sometimes it may feel like you are trusting your intuition by saying like 
okay, I shouldn't apply for that job. Like, they probably won't hire me. But that's not you trusting your intuition. That's just your inner shit talker let, making you think that you don't have the skills required for that job. But you should not ever listen to your inner shit talker. Your intuition is going to tell, it's going to basically align with the universe. So they're going to bring this opportunity into your life um, and you can meet the universe to co-create with them and take advantage of that opportunity and say, oh, that's an insertion job and I somehow casually browsed upon it, I should apply for it. This is for me. That is your intuition. That inner shit talker is the one that's on the side trying to get in the way of your connection between you and the universe. That person is going to be like, you can never get that job. You cannot. You don't deserve to make that amount of money. You've never made that money, money before. Why would anybody pay you to do this job? You don't even have that much experience. But your intuition, that is what is. 1111 that is what is going to bring you into alignment with those things and that is what's gonna um give you that spark in your belly in your heart that you know that something is right for you or whatever so the thing is between these two between growing your intuition which there's different ways you can do that like you can hide things from yourself you can uh, walk around your home blindfolded until you learn learn how to intuitively move around your home. I mean, there's so many things that you can do to build up your intuition. Um, but what you should do is just learn how to practice discernment. Discernment is really taking the time to be with yourself and to think about the decisions that you're making and if it is for your highest good or not. And you can use your logic, you can use your heart and then decide what is the right things or the wrong things or what is gonna be in your best interest or not. So learning how to practice discernment will basically keep you out of trouble. It is going to help you to flow more easily through life and to reach ascension faster because you are not being distracted by your inner shit talker and you're not being confused by your intuition because you take the time to really think, to meditate, to pray if that is what you do and consider what is for your highest good. And I want to be specific with what I said there about what. That is the only question you should have when it is that you are trying to make a decision or when you feel like you need to use your intuition or that little shit talker is there telling you something that you can't do or can't be. You need to ask what. That is the only question that is important. And I'm going to do a video later about this more in depth, why this is. But the only question as far as channeling and understanding and being capable of having discernment is what? What can I do to change this? What is in my control? What are the facts? What skills can I learn to bring me closer to my manifestation? Don't wonder about who. Don't wonder about the people that will be involved. Don't wonder about how. Don't wonder about how it's going to happen or which way it's going to come to you. Don't worry about it. It sounds crazy, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about when because everything is divinely time, timed and divinely guided. So that means that you have no control over the timing, no matter how it is you try and frame things or plan things because God laughs at plans. And I don't want to sound hella dramatic right now, but it's high key serious for real. So now I really am rambling. This video is almost 15 minutes long, but I'm glad that we got to speak about this today. And I hope this video 
was interesting enough for you to listen to it. I hope that you actually did learn something. And I just actually really want you guys to really build up your third eye. Make sure you do third eye meditation. You can search like videos on YouTube. Um, there's so much. I don't know if you got Apple Music or Spotify, but you can Google like meditation music. Like I said in my last video, Londrell is great. He definitely has a third eye meditation. Um, Janae Aiko is real good. You trying to open up your third eye. I mean, you know how I feel about messages and music and stuff like that. So there's so much that you can do with it on that way. But really just sitting with yourself, meditating, just asking spirit, like ask them, like ask them, like. I want to see, I want to know, I need clarity. Please open my third eye and like always remain grateful and thankful and appreciative. And I promise you that will get you so far. So see you in my next video. But wait, before we log off, because I just retwisted my hair. Now I had to make a few new twists up in here. But. Do you guys see how much budding I have? Like, my hair is locking for real. Like, look at this. It's really locked. I'm so excited. And it's getting so long. And they are really getting thick out here. So, I'll see y'all in my next video.